Hello and welcome to Board It. I'm Farrell. This is Tally. Hello. And today we are reviewing Trailblazers, a trail building game by Ryan Courtney, the man who dares to ask how many mechanisms can you remove from pipeline and still have a functioning game. We say that because this is what we're considering the third in the pipe trilogy of Pipeline, Curious Cargo, and now Trailblazers. And all these games were about route building and pipes, lots of pipes, pipes, pipes except pipes. now it's about <laughs> trails and this is a pure distillation of the route building and trails. Yes, we were very kindly sent our review copy by the publisher Bitewing Games and it's the standard version which is for one to eight players. Be aware that there are many different versions of this game from the deluxe version down to a travel version and the player count may vary. However, in all of them, your goal is to create winding and interlocking trails, all whilst competing for devilishly difficult objectives. Trailblazers is played over four rounds. At the beginning of the first three rounds, you must place a campsite, and these all correspond to the different types of trails. So you have hiking, biking, and rafting. Once placed, or if not, if you're in the fourth round, you'll take eight trail cards, play two of them, and then pass them along. This continues until each player has two trail cards left in their hand, at which point they are discarded and the round will end. The trail cards have a variety of trails and trail shapes on them, and your goal is to create long and winding trails which both start and end at the matching campsite as your score for length of completed trails. However, there are also in-game and end-game objectives which will get you some more points if you meet them. There's also an optional module which adds in animals for further scoring opportunity. Some of the trail cards have animals pre-printed which show that you can place an animal on them when you play them. At the cost of not being able to cover up that trail card with another trail card later in the game, perhaps to further optimize the route, you can score that animal, with each completed trail scoring exponentially for the number of unique animals on it. There's also another way to play, the Adventurer expansion, where in round two, you'll add two meeples which match the campsites that you've built, and each one will move three trail markers along your trails at the end of each of your turns. The goal here is to create two really long trails, always staying ahead of your meeples. If you can go around without your meeples having to stop because they come to the end of a trail, you'll score some points, as well as scoring points for the number of trail markers between where the meeple finishes the game and the campsites. The animals are also used in this variant and they're worth two points for each unique animal along a trail. But most importantly, they act as trail markers, slowing your meeple's progress. Going all the way back to the beginning, we were both pretty big fans of Pipeline. I was a bit eh on Curious Cargo, but you liked it, I think, more than I did. Yeah. So it was kind of up in the air if we would like this because we do prefer heavier games. But I'm glad to say that we thoroughly enjoyed playing Trailblazers. And that's because it's a wonderful distillation of that kind of pipe, conveyor belt, trail, route building. And it's just very kind of sharp and clean and elegant in Trailblazers. We really like how there's not a lot of buff here. So you can really focus on the route building. It's the be all and end all. And let's be honest, this type of spatial puzzle can be pretty intense. So it's really nice to be able to just focus on the one problem with the tricky decisions coming from how you'll build your route. In addition, you are completely free to overbuild, which means you don't have to suffer with a silly decision made earlier in the game or waste a perfect card. And that's not to say overbuilding lets you breathe easy because yes, a lot of the you could say crunch comes from the spatial puzzling, but you also have a lot of pressure based on how limited what you can do is because you'll only play 24 trail cards over the course of a game. So yeah, overbuilding can get you out of a tight pinch and I recommend you use it, but every time you overbuild, you're taking away from the maximum trail you could build with that limited time. Core to the crunch of trailblazers are the goal cards. 
They're essentially a form of gambling because they sit there and say, yeah, sure, build those boring long routes. Or you could try and build two routes that wrap around two other campsites. And would you believe it? More often than not, you fall for the trap and try to do these insane tasks. However, the feeling of accomplishment when you nail them is something to be reckoned with. So if you are someone who likes puzzly gameplay or the kind of crunch of spatial puzzling or route building, then Trailblazers is an easy recommendation. You know, it's, it's simple enough that you can pretty much introduce it to anyone without too much difficulty, but crunchy enough that even more seasoned gamers are going to be able to come to it and get something out of it and compete and enjoy themselves. Although I would say that probably with the more seasoned gamer you are, the less staying power Trailblazers will have after a number of plays. The biggest negative of Trailblazers is that Based on the player count, which goes up to eight, you would think that there would be some reason for that player count, that there'd be some sort of party aspect or interactivity, but this is almost entirely a solo experience as you play, because all players' turns are simultaneous, and even though you're drafting cards and passing them, you're only ever going to pick the cards that are best for you in that moment. So there is an attempt to alleviate this, with the in-game goals, because the earlier you claim them, the more points you will get. But all you can really do about that is look over at a player, see what they're going for, and then see, can I beat them? Is it worth their time? And again, it's just dependent on what you get. Moving on to the additional content, the animal expansion is an element that once you play with it, you probably won't go back. It adds another level of interesting consideration and another layer of puzzle to your experience. Like the gold cards, it pushes you to do something you probably shouldn't in exchange for sweet, sweet victory points. It's a natural fit, and we really like that it challenges you to play a variety of trail shapes, as each animal is assigned to a unique trail shape. On top of that, it's a wonderfully balanced trade-off because when you play an animal trail card, you can never overlay that card. So you're getting victory points, but you do have to sacrifice your flexibility. The Adventurous expansion was a bit of a miss for us because it takes out all of these plates you have to spin in the base game for a more kind of streamlined, less interesting experience. Because now your only real focus is extending two different types of trails. So you already have less considerations in what trails are going, and then there's no goals, so you don't have that crunch to kind of push you in difficult directions. And it just kind of, does this card extend one of the two trail types I care about? If it does, put it down. And that's kind of it. It basically makes a much more streamlined experience for a game that was already quite rules light and simple to learn and teach and play. However, because it is streamlined, it does actually make for quite a wonderful introduction game to Trailblazers, the kind of game that we would maybe show family or friends who aren't gamers to kind of get them ready for the core cool game of Trailblazers before that, you know, difficult spatial puzzling really comes in. Because you do have a step up in kind of the, the mental capacity you need between the adventurers and the core cool game. But that is basically the only way we would ever play the Adventurous Expansion, I think, going forward, if we were teaching it to someone. Because the core game, uh, especially with the Animals Expansion, is just that much more interesting to us. So, final thoughts. If you really like spatial puzzles, or you loved the pipe mania elements of Pipeline or Curious Cargo, then this is an easy recommendation. Trailblazers is a wonderful distillation of route building and spatial puzzling, all in a lovely package with great art and production. However, Trailblazers isn't going to be the type of game where if you know you don't like this genre, it's not going to convince you otherwise. It's also kind of a little bit disappointing that a game that goes up to eight players isn't more interactive, doesn't give you a reason to play with eight players. No. But it's still a wonderful box, wonderful production, wonderful package, and we've really enjoyed it, and we're going to keep playing it. Definitely. Definitely take it on holiday and stuff. Yep. So that was our review of Trailblazers, and we hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please ask us. We'll be happy to answer them. Please consider subscribing, because <laughs> it would really help us. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.